Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. I will all is well, all is blessed. I will you all enjoy your weekend. It has been a beautiful weekend. I spent a lot of time with my family. We had a little snowstorm here in North Carolina. Nothing for me to sneeze at. I'm from up north, so <laughs> the snowstorm here in North Carolina was literally a dusting. <laughs> but everything was shut down here. This is how they roll, North Carolina. I love my North Carolinians. But um, yeah, I just spent the time inside. We went outside, played a little bit in the snow with my son and um, you know. But uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful weekend, quiet weekend. Did a lot of um, did a lot of family time this weekend. We just bonded. We watched movies yesterday. We spent the whole day watching. I never saw John Wick, so my daughter has been trying to get me to see that movie, and I finally watched all three of them yesterday. And I was I loved it. <laughs> I was there for all of that action. But um, yeah, I hope you all are doing well, are feeling well, are blissed and and highly favored. This is going to be a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. Welcome to anyone that may be new. Um, if you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloved is love, is love is love. Um, if you are new, a little about me. Um, my name is Q, as I said. I am intuitive. I am empathic. Uh, and I'm also a clairaudient, so I incorporate music into my readings. And they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages uh, that comes out with the uh, tarot cards. Um, this is a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Uh, this is also a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, so let's go ahead. Right now, um, we have Gregory Isaacs, um, and the name of this song is My Number One. So... I instantly felt like there's someone who feels you're their number one. This is someone that could be uh, kind of coming in and I'm hearing like professing their love. Like this is someone perhaps that uh, is like a secret admirer and they're just going to confess and profess their love, um, profess that you're like their number one, you're the, the main one, you know, that they uh, would be interested in taking things to the next level. Um, it's almost as if this person uh, and you may have crossed paths. So I do feel a sense of familiarity, like you know this person, or maybe this is a past life love, or maybe this is just simply like a twin flame. So this could be the one that got away, um, that person that you may feel that sentiment about. Uh, and we all know, you know, the dynamic between twin flames or spiritual uh, partnerships is there's always that runner chaser, someone who's more into it uh, than the other one lets on, um, but they feel deeper than they let on. And so it's almost like they want you to chase them. So it's really um, someone who could be uh, just, you know, kind of like not as emotionally intelligent as you, someone who's a little afraid, apprehensive, uh, to take things to the next level because they feel so deeply and they're afraid of those feelings. They're afraid of their, um, that, you know, of allowing themselves to become vulnerable, uh, maybe because of past hurt, past pain, um, maybe because that's just the way they're wired. Maybe that's the way they were raised. Um, so we're going to tap more into that energy, but that's what I'm picking up with Gregory Isaac's song. Um, so right now we have Color Me Bad. I want to sex you up. So, yeah, somebody definitely feels you're their number one. And not only is there an attraction, you know, an initial attraction, but there is a sexual attraction as well. So this person could be having like intimate thoughts. Um, as I said, this could be someone that you have crossed paths with. So you could know who this is. You could have been intimate with this person in the past. And um, there could have been some sort of separation or there could have been some sort of um, ghosting. Uh, the two of you could have just kind of like disassociated yourselves from one another uh, because, as I said, some one person was more into it than the other person. Um, and I feel like that kind of hurt, uh, you know, that was that that pain kind of really uh, it. It really caused some sort of um, rift 
between you and that person. So let's go ahead before we delve any deeper. I want to call in uh, the angels. Uh, so let's go ahead, call upon the beautiful, beautiful water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and the discernment, help me to pick up on my messages so that I may provide a clear and concise reading for my beloved Scorpios, and so it is, so mote it be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So someone is obviously very passionate. Somebody's obviously been hiding this, holding these feelings back. And um, maybe you're like that number one, maybe you're the one that like put it on them, like you open their nose wide open, got them wide open, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, I'm hearing that stupid ass song. Girl, you look good, Watch your back that thing up? You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Um, I can't stand that stupid ass. <laughs> but it was a hit back in like, you know, I guess that came out like in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s. Yeah, I think that was more 2000s. Um, but that's what I just heard so loud. <laughs> and it was so annoying. Girl, you look good. Watch your back. That thing got. I forgot who that is. Who is that? Um, juvenile or cash money? I don't know. But um, so we got domestic harmony. Look at that. So. This definitely feels like this is somebody who could absolutely be like a twin flame, you know, because this is um, it says domestic harmony. So, as I said, there could have been a rift between the two of you. There could have been some sort of um, shake up in the connection. Uh, but this feel this person definitely feels like you're their number one. Uh, maybe they could have chose someone else over you. Maybe they could have ran from the connection, like I said, initially. And now they're coming to this realization that um you know, with you, it was it, it was effortless, you know, um, you know, the connection just was what it was. There was no awkwardness. The two of you could just sit around each other and just have deep conversations, just be light, just laugh. It was just like more harmony. And I feel like wherever they are now, it's, it's not that they could be in a, a karmic relationship and there could be a lot of arguing fighting, a lot of discourse, um, and just they lack peace. You know, they don't have a peace of mind. So I do feel like this is something that's heavy on this person's heart, something they did not communicate, um, you know, with you. You know, they didn't communicate with you their feelings or they didn't reveal to you their feelings. Um, right now we have uh, Saigon, and the name of this is called Pain in My Life, and this is featuring Trey Songs. So I definitely feel like this person is going through, like, you know, some sort of painful ending. You know, there's green in this, uh, in this um, center of this card that deals with the heart chakra. So they're going through some sort of painful ending. Um, and domestic harmony, I feel like there is no more uh, peace. There is no more happiness. Uh, this is called uh, pain in my life. So this person is going through some sort of startling metamorphosis. They could be going through, um, you know, some sort of divorce or a relationship has um, ended in a very, uh, you know, traumatic, painful way. They could have discovered someone was uh, being dishonest, being deceptive, you know, maybe they were betrayed. So there is some sort of pain and it's almost as if they're kind of reflecting back perhaps on the connection they had with you. Uh, because it says my number one. So maybe they didn't choose you. And now they see um, in hindsight that you were always that number one. Uh, maybe they didn't see your worth and value. Maybe someone appeared to be a better suit for them, a better pick for them. Maybe it was more uh, material, but they learned that something was just artificial. It wasn't real. It was plastic as hell. Um, underneath that, I see music. So yeah, this person could be hearing a lot of music, hearing a lot of um, songs that remind them of you. Maybe there's clairvoyant messages that they're picking up from the um, music. Um, I feel like the divine is also saying that with this song, um, you also experience a lot of pain in your life. I feel this person hurt you as well. I feel like there was a um, mutual um, pain, a mutual longing, a mutual yearning for someone or something. Maybe you are waiting for someone to return or maybe they were waiting for you to return. I definitely see there's no communication here. 
you know, there's absolutely no communication, which means there's no harmony. You can't come to a resolve if there's no communication. And so I see here with spiritual career and domestic harmony, there's absolutely someone coming in that's going to match your fly and match your vibration. Um, I feel a lot of you have discovered your spiritual gifts and talents and have been honing them after disappointment, after the demise of a relationship. I feel like you kind of tapped into your spiritual gifts because you had no choice but to lean on your strength and heal yourself, heal thyself. So as you healed thyself, you discovered that you were healers. You discovered that you were psychic. You discovered you were intuitive. You discovered you were sensitive to um, energy. So some of you all started to hone those skills and those gifts. And now it's like the divine is assigning you a role, a position, uh, so that you can help to heal the collective, to be a force, you know, out there helping others to awaken to their, to their gifts, to, you know, to their purpose. Uh, so this is beautiful. That 78 reduces to six. So this does speak to you being in spiritual alignment. Um, so let's tap in tune in. So divine spirit of love and light, what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of love and light, what messages of love and light do you have for my beloved Scorpios? And I'm trying to do this quiet because I don't want to be aggravating to y'all with this noise on the table. Okay, so there's a couple of runaways and we have on the bottom of the deck still domestic harmony. See that? So I feel like there is, um, it's almost like the divine is kind of like really, um, this is like very critical, is harmony. It's important to uh, come into a union with someone that you have, um, you're equally yoked with, where it's just effortless, like I said, where there's a synergy, there's this connectivity, there's this sense of um, strong chemistry. It's almost as if like words don't need to be spoken. And this love goes beyond this space and time. Um, right now we have Dr. Dre, Hitman, Corrupt, Nate Dogg, uh, and this is called explosive. So I do feel like something had um, some, there was some sort of explosive breakup or explosive um, news, something kind of uh, cracked the foundation, you know, of a connection. Um, so maybe somebody discovered their partner was cheating. Uh, this could have been, you know, something that you've already experienced because I do see that 46, that's 10. So that, you know, definitely speaks to like a sudden loss, a painful loss. Um, and I'm hearing the word agonizing. So a lot of you are really agonizing from this loss. Uh, I feel whoever you're attracting is kind of mirroring your energy and they're going through this as well. Um, I also feel like when you meet your, your divine partner, um, the chemistry is going to be explosive. Like you, you, you feel like you're going to jump out of your body because it's just that um, intense, you know, the, the chemistry and the connection. So what I see here is a happy ending. So, you know, it may not have started um, as positive, but I feel like the end result is going to be beautiful. You're going to be elated. You know, I feel like you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. You're going to feel content because it's like somebody has had some sort of epiphany. Somebody has discovered that they have an affinity and attraction and an appreciation and more importantly, respect for you. They feel that you are warmth, that you are like home. They feel that you uh, provide, you know, this this sense of safety. You're like a safety net um, with this 93. That three reduces to uh, I mean, that 93 reduces to 12. So that's three. So I do feel like this is something that you've manifested. And that's why I felt like there was a sense of like either you were waiting for someone or someone was waiting for you. Um, and I do feel like there's a lot of communication in the 5D. So maybe the two of you communicate uh, constantly via dreams. Uh, maybe there's a lot of telepathic and intuitive messages being, um, you know, transmitted back and forth. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, there was some sort of epiphany or uh, some sort of um, illumination and clarity as to what this connection means to someone. And I feel like they want to reunite. They want to reconnect. So this is someone I feel a lot of you um, may have already met. You know, I, I, I was picking on a sense that, you know, this is the one that got away. Maybe this is how how you feel or maybe how they feel about you. Because remember, you had Gregory Isaac sing my number one. So this is like your ideal person or they feel that way about you. So let's see what else we have. We have healing. 
So this is what, you know, and this is 6-6. Six, six, so as I was picking up on like mirroring energy, like the two of you kind of like matching each other's energy, the, the both of you are going through a process where you're healing. And I feel like that's why there is no communication. This is a completely blue card. Blue deals with the throat chakra. So I feel like there is no communication at this time, but there is a, some sort of epiphany as to how profound this connection is, how to, how to, um, as to how, um, how real this person feels, how deeply this person feels. It's like there's, um, you know, this, you know, like I said, this, 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 this grand epiphany someone is having. Um, and I feel like, you know, because the six, six deals with like harmony again. And remember you had domestic harmony, you know, harmony is when you are in alignment. It's when you feel balanced, when you feel centered. And so I feel like, you know, maybe somebody lacks, uh, you know, the ability to express themselves and communicate. Uh, so they may hold a lot of things in. And so we have notorious B.I.G., um, and this is called things done changed. So I feel like somebody has changed their perspective. Somebody has gone from being a mute to being non-communicative to now, um, you know, being more willing and able to sit down and have dialogue, to sit down or to open up, you know, because I feel like somebody's, you know, in, in, in previous readings, uh, my throat was constantly getting blocked. I would be coughing. One time I damn near choked <laughs> uh, during the reading. And so I feel like somebody was really struggling um, with expression. They were struggling with communicating. And so I feel like that really damaged a lot of their relationships. And maybe that's the epiphany that they have had. And so now they want to try to... Um, they want to try to um, approach things with a completely different perspective and a different approach. You know, they're going to you know, come towards you with a different approach, but they're coming towards you to heal this connection. You know, this is all about healing, you know, healing thyself and ultimately trying to heal those relationships that, you know, um, you could have damaged uh, when you were not in the know. So somebody has had the epiphany and now with this with this knowledge of self, with this new um, you know, download, uh, you know, because that's six, six, you know, six is the crown, sh uh, the first star chakra. But when you break that down, that's 12 and that's three. So this is three and then three again. So I feel like this is someone trusting their intuition. Um, this is someone using discernment this time around. Um, so we have nine here, completion. See that? So they were in a karmic relationship. I feel you also completed a cycle. Um, this cycle was very imperative for you to complete because I feel like there was a lot of self-sabotage in the past. Um, you were not trusting your intuition as much. Uh, you were giving more than you were receiving. You were being very um, selfless. And I feel like those, those uh, beautiful attributes and characteristics um, were being taken advantage of. You weren't being appreciated. You weren't being treated uh, fairly or justly. You were being taken for granted. And I feel like a lot of you had to learn um, to pay attention to the red flags, to pay attention to how people treat you, and to not be naive uh, when you saw things that didn't make sense. Instead of making excuses for the person, it was like you had to... Um, take it for what it was. Um, this was about trusting how you were feeling. If things didn't sit right, then that meant something wasn't right. And so um, now I'm hearing Keith Sweat, Southern, 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 just stay right. And so that's what I feel like a lot of y'all, you know, because this is, you know, the number nine. So that means change. That means, um, you know, I feel it's, it, 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 this is the highest number of change. So there was there was definitely like, you know, some some high level download that you received or some some level of graduating, you know, you you tapping into your psychic abilities, into your intuitive abilities. And that's what led to you making the decision to wrap up a cycle because you had exhausted all, you know, all possibilities to make it work. And you can't be the only one um, working towards a connection, towards a relationship. So right now we have thief's theme uh, and this is by Nas. So you discovered someone was stealing from you, even if it's energy, um, an energy vampire. That's theft, 
that's thievery. Um, if this was someone literally stealing from you, whether ideas, I heard ideas, somebody could have stole your business portfolio, stole some sort of concept from you. Um, that's why it's very important not to share um, your information. You know, when you are embarking on a new um, endeavor, it's, it's wise to keep your business to yourself. And once you accomplish whatever it is you're setting out to do, um, you just let people see with your actions what you're working on opposed to saying, yeah, I'm about to do this. And yeah, this is what I'm about to do. And hey, how about, you know, like don't give people your blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Create your own blueprint and let other people do their own due diligence and do their own work. Um, because I feel like there's a lot of people that could have been trying to steal from you, even money. You may have discovered like, you know, your exes were stealing, like, like completely cleaning out your bank accounts. Um, you may have discovered they was like stealing things from the home, gifting them to other people um, with thieves theme. This, like I said, could be just straight up energy vampirism, um, people trying to ride your coattail, uh, people just smiling and beguiling just to get in where they fit in or where they think they fit in because they no longer fit in, which is why they have to be, um, you know, deceptive to, 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 to stand next to you. Uh, so this is really about using your first eye, being more discerning um, about your inner circles, about your cipher, about the people you allow um, around you right now. Because, you know, uh, with this thief theme, I do feel like there's people who are potentially like trying to plot and scheme and scam um, to set you up. And these are people who are jealous. These are people who are envious. Um, these are people who lack uh, any skill sets and talents of their own, which is why they tend to try to link up with people who are um, creatives or who are um, gifted because they don't have the ability um, to, to uh, or they refuse to do the work, let's just say that, opposed to saying they don't have the ability, because we all have the ability, they're just lazy. So they just wanna, you know, kind of like bleach on, um, and they wanna be a parasite, you know what I'm saying? They just wanna, they don't wanna do the work. They don't want, you know, they just wanna leech on and live vicariously through you. So we see um, domestic harmony is there. So yeah, these people definitely cause um, imbalance, you know, so you have to be mindful. Um, take spiritual baths and definitely cut people off um, that you know aren't good for you. You can't have them around you, all right? So let's cut the deck. Let's go ahead, get our last two messages from the numerology. So the bottom of the deck, we got love partnership. So when you cut off what no longer serves you, then you're gonna start attracting what you are. Like attracts like. So this is that beautiful energy, completion of a toxic cycle. You've gone through the necessary process. And as we saw, you got a happy ending here. So we see that you are having some sort of wish fulfillment. And as I said, someone's very drawn to you, attracted to you. They find you to be very, you know, intriguing, very mysterious, very mystique. You know, you have this mystique about you. Um, they find you to be very sensual, very sexy. Uh, they're sexually attracted to you, but they're also uh, attracted to your mind. They're attracted to your intelligence. They're attracted to your spirituality, um, to the fact that you are balanced. You bring balance. You bring peace. You bring love. You bring light um, to any, you know, to any circumstance. It's just like you seem to be very much like um, just a natural healer. You have like that warm you know, there's warmth, you know, as I was picking up earlier, like there's, there's this warmth, they feel you're warm, you know, you're inviting. And so we have Jean Grey, and this is called Don't Rush Me. Um, so somebody could be coming in very hot and heavy, um, you know, because this person is really, they know what they want is what I'm getting a sense of. And I feel like you could be a little more apprehensive because, you know, everything that you've been through, you know, now to make um, more conscious decisions, like you're going to choose wisely, uh, not just, you know, friendships, not just circumstances, uh, but also love connections. You're going to be very, very particular um, about what connections you're going to entertain. Um, and as we see here with this timeout, that could have been, you know, the download that you received when you was in that hermit mode healing, when you was in that star mode healing, when you was in, you know, that space of, you know, um, healing thyself and loving thyself. That was one of the things that you've learned to do was to, you know, take a step back before just leaping into things. But I feel someone is going to be literally like, um, you know, ready to just jump in, dive in, 
And, and this is because, like I said, this is, this is someone who has had these feelings um, for a long time and they've never communicated it to you how they felt and they feel you're like wish fulfillment. Uh, that 26 reduces to eight, so they see you as wish fulfillment. This could also be that prayer, um, you know, that answered prayer, you know, and that's why the divine is telling you, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, you take a time out as necessary, um, you know, but take a time out to assess the situation, to evaluate the situation so that you can be receptive to the right things. Because this 37 is saying that, you know, you've already had um, enough time. Oh, no, I was I was thinking of the the um, domestic harmony that was 46. So that was 10 also. So the divine is saying it, you know, it's enough of being um, in that hermit mode. You know, this time out that 10, uh, it, you know, it's a wrap for that. Now it's time to dive back in. Now it's time to dip your foot, your toe back in into the waters, you know, and, and test love out again um, and trust the process uh, with don't rush me. A lot of you are a little apprehensive, but the divine is saying like you've taken enough time out to heal yourselves and now it's time for you to you know open up to love because there's absolutely like some sort of wish fulfillment here for you okay so divine spirit thank you see that look karmic completion so you have completed the cycle and that's why the divine is telling you like you know now it's time to open up you've completed the cycle you've learned the lessons you've done all of your work you've healed at a soul level you've learned a lot about not only yourself but also just social connections like your connections with other people you've learned more about human behavior um you've grown more um compassionate i feel in this process because you've learned that people are products of their environment they know not what they do and a lot of times hurt people hurt t people and instead of you becoming just another hurt person that went out to hurt other people, you know, because that's what vengeance is, you know, that's what, you know, revenge is, is when somebody hurts you, you turn around and say, well, all motherfuckers, you know, all men are going to get it. Or when a woman hurts you, men, you say all women are going to get hurt. You know, like you, you can't have that perspective because all you're doing is perpetuating the same pain and hurt and agony that you're feeling. And then you're just making a world uh, full of miserable bruised and damaged souls but what you did was you transmuted the pain you transmuted that pain and you started to tap into your power which is why that spiritual career card showed up because i feel like that's what a lot of you started to hone in on focus in on was your creative gifts that's what saved a lot of you that's what kept you sane um was just kind of like staying busy working on yourself and so that's how you've completed this cycle and i feel like the divine is very proud of you very pleased with you and i feel like that's why you're going to have a lot of abundance a lot of wish fulfillment and a lot of um opportunities start knocking at your door so we have on the bottom of the deck patience Patience is a form of action, and I feel like because this is all orange, you showed, you know, strength. You showed courage, you know, um, even though you were hurt because this karmic completion, this is a cycle, you know, this is a, a, a painful cycle of many lessons. And I feel the main lesson you had to learn was self-love, um, you know, self-worth. Uh, and I feel it was because of abandonment. Somebody abandoned you. Somebody ghosted you. Somebody dismissed you. Somebody took you for granted. And I feel like that was a very painful loss. But I feel like in that loss, I feel like you've learned tremendously about who you are. You learned tremendously about not showing up naive or self um, self-sabotaging, you know, to not overcompensate. You learned your love language, which was very important. This is red inside of the symbol, and that's the root chakra, which is what Scorpios rule. So this was about you learning to be independent, to um, be self-sufficient and not codependent on another person. This gray card shows that there was a lot of sadness. There was a lack of happiness and joy and balance and peace in that relationship. There was more heartache and loss opposed to 
you know, joy, peace, and happiness. But I feel like with this happy ending, the divine started the reading out to let you know that everything that you've gone through um, will result in, an happy, in a happy ending. And that was the first message out, which means this is what the divine wants you to focus on and wants you to um, be receptive, receptive um, for, because there's something beautiful uh, approaching, okay? And so right now we have Dr. Dre, and this is called Let Me Ride. So yeah, so you know, there's definitely um, a sense that you're gonna be moving forward. I feel like you're, you've learned to heal yourself because when I hear Dr. Dre, I feel like this is just about you applying your own healing hands, your own healing um, abilities uh, to thyself, you know, um, learning that you were a healer because you had to heal yourself. Um, and I feel like you was patient with yourself also. I feel like, you know, as I said, you know, this is all about divine timing. You had to go through this um, you know, and, and you didn't go through it. You grew through it. So I feel like, you know, there was a lot that you had to learn. And I feel like you received a lot of messages along the way just to keep you focused on the process, um, to keep you focused on the end result. You know, you could have seen a lot of synchronicities, number synchronicities. Some of you all were seeing. 333 666 Some of you could have been seeing 222. Um, but I do feel like, you know, with these synchronicities, that's what kept you going because it was almost like the divine was giving you the little nuggets, giving you those little, it's like almost like, um, you know, like a life force, like giving you hope you know, to continue, you know, so you could have been seeing rainbows, you could have been seeing certain bird totems, you could have had certain encounters with animal totems, um, you could have had certain dreams, you know, sensations, as I said before, ears ringing or, you know, whatever, feeling a presence, you know, and those were the things that kind of kept you going. Um, there is going to be a relationship change and it is absolutely something you have manifested. So you do have your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine counterpart, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. You have a spiritual union that is uh, behind the scenes um, being pruded on. You know, the divine is working on bringing someone very special. You know, remember I had the song by Gregory Isaacs, num my number one. So your number one person or this person that feels you're their number one is coming in. And I feel like you all are going to be in a very beautiful love connection very shortly because you have love partnership and you have relationship chain. So if you are single, you're going to you're not going to be single very lo much longer. And so right now we have um, Gwen McRae and this is called Funky Sensation. So, yeah, some of y'all are feeling some sensations. Like I said, like, you know, some of y'all could have your ears ringing. I know for me, when I start channeling, my nose begins to tingle, you know. So you may see me, like, wiping my nose constantly, and it's because my nose is tingling. I'm not doing nothing else. I ain't digging in my nose. Like, I got some cool. But it's just like my nose will tingle. It, it literally nonstop. And um, I, I noticed that was one of the sensations that I felt when I was tapping into the energy or when there was a divine presence. You know, so funky sensations, you could be having certain sensations. Um, some of you all may be having like your eyes twitching, your ears ringing. Maybe you have, um, like I said, nose tingling. Um, you know, just certain things may happen to you all. OK, so we're going to use look at that fertility, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Uh, this is definitely um, ascension. You know, this is the this is the ultimate um, level to aspire to reach as a feminine energy, is to reach the feminine energy of the divine feminine. You know, the empress is the divine feminine. That is, she represents fertility. So this is the energy that you all have ascended to. This is what you are vibrating right now. As I said, I was picking up on the fact that others are very drawn to you, very attracted to you. You all are very psychic, very intuitive, very loving, very nurturing. You're master manifestors. So I feel like anything that you're doing right now is all based off of something you've created. You could be an entrepreneur, so you could have a business. You could run some sort of business. We saw a spiritual career, so we could have something to do with spirituality, the occult or um, esoteric um, knowledge, you know, you provide services of some sort, which is, you know, rooted in spirituality. Um, with funky sensation, I feel like a lot of you, as I said, you could be um, psychics, clairvoyants, intuitives. Um, you could be just, you know, that um, 
very sensitive to energy so you trust inner gumption um but i also feel like you're very successful you know very grounded you could be mothers as well you're very good mothers you love your children your children love you you have a beautiful connection with your children where there's conversations where you sit and have conversations dialogue and they love that about you they see you as very protective and you know how to be very soft but you also know how to be stern and strong at the same time as I always say like this divine feminine is a force to be reckoned with and I feel like that's why you're having some sort of happy um, happy ending because um, you can feel something beautiful is is approaching because the divine feminine is very psychic as well you carry all of the attributes you have all of the the characteristics and attributes of all of the Queens so you're psychic you know you're, you're very loving and nurturing you know you're very passionate and you're very grounded, you're down to earth. So it's like you carry all of the attributes. So that's what makes you attractive. You're very alluring. You know, you appeal to the interests of anyone. So you just naturally attract. And um, I feel like you're just a creative. You know, you know how to birth new ideas. And this is the energy you're in. Right underneath that is abundance. So this is what you are manifesting. And the divine, in this song, they say, can you feel it? Can you feel it? my funky sensation so i feel like you're picking up on the fact that like there's money coming there's abundance there's opportunities open up there's blessings being showered down upon you and i feel like it's because you've completed a cycle you got completion then you got karmic completion so not only did you complete a cycle you learned lessons but you completed a karmic lesson so this is something that you could have um you know you could have um you know uh how do you say that? You could have accumulated a lot of karmic debt, not just in this lifetime, but in former lifetimes. And so you've completed those karmic lessons. So that is like, a, 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 that is amazing, but that's also very astounding to, to be able to do in this lifetime. And so now there's like wish fulfillment. Things are going to be showering down upon you. You are very, very abundant, very successful. You're efficient in whatever it is you do. Like you do things, you dot all I's and cross all T's. Like you're very efficient. You know, you, 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 you know, when you do something, you don't do it half-assed. You do it wholeheartedly and you go beyond other people's expectations. And that's what makes you stand out from the rest, you know, but you're very giving. I see that energy. All right. So that was a lot. <laughs> so we have start delegating. See that? I said you was very giving, giving and the divine wants you to be, um, more open to receive you know don't try to do everything on your own the divine knows you're strong but when you have to do everything that puts you in more of a masculine energy than a feminine energy so it's like i feel like the divine is saying um you know balance those things out start delegating asking for what you need because you, it, it's not meant for you to do everything whether you're feminine or masculine energy it isn't meant for you to do everything that throws you off balance that's why you have um, masculine and feminine energy because it's important to have someone to um, you know to to kind of like um, to work with you know to bounce ideas off of you know to you know to to build with to connect with, to compromise with, to work with, to team up with, to be in a partnership with, to collaborate with. Like it's important to have that. So we have a bonus message and you got unconditional love here. So just as I was saying, you got someone uh, that could be a secret admirer or someone you know, someone you know already. And this person loves you and they've, I feel like they've hid those feelings. And we got Joe Scott playing family reunion. So there's gonna be, this could be somebody that you know, you know. This could be someone you already know that feels like family. Like I said, this person feels like you're home. You know, you feel like home. So they could be returning to you. This could be a past love. This could be, like I said, that person that you felt or they feel you got away or they feel um, or you feel they got away. But it says love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. And I feel like that's why you're attracting a lot more, because instead of focusing on those painful losses, um, you know, on the disappointment, the deception, the betrayal and allowing those things to turn you into uh, that scorned female or that vindictive uh, person that's carrying out some vendetta. I feel like y'all in instead focused on healing thyself. Y'all instead did your internal work and healed past pains, wounds and traumas and discovered that you had, you know, pre-existing, you know, um, 
yokes, you know, like I said, things that you could have been carrying from former lifetimes. And that's what you've been busy working on because you didn't just complete it. You karmically completed your lessons and, and, and cycles as well. So that's like double the work. And I feel like your love partnerships are what exposed you to the fact that there was healing necessary because I feel like a lot of you were abandoned. I feel like there was a lack of communication. You know, I feel like there was a lack of, um, you know, just um, looking at things, um, you know, for what it was. You were giving people the benefit of the doubt, you know, instead of like paying attention to the red flag. So you were overcompensating. You was giving more than, you know, you were supposed to. And I feel like that's what kind of threw you out of equilibrium. But with this family reunion, I also feel like, you know, you started to um, you started to ground yourself. You know, you return back to you. You know, you return back to the self. You started to prioritize your needs. You started to realize that self-love makes you more attractive and that you ultimately teach people how to treat you. You know, so if you're teaching people that they don't have to give you anything, they don't have to, you know, help. They don't have to um be attentive or affectionate, you're just going to do all the work, then you're always going to attract people who will be just, you know, they'll just talk holes in your head. They'll be just have the gift of gab, you know, they'll sell you dreams. They'll just tell you a bunch of good shit, but won't come to deliver any of any of it. And so I feel like you had to have, you know, that that moment of clarity, you know, so you grew, you know, in terms of discovering what your love language was and discovering what you desired in a love partnership. So your, uh, this is your bonus message. We have Lakshmi, bright future. So you have blessings coming in. And she says, stop worrying. Everything is, work, is going to be fine. And we see that with happy ending. So this is your bonus message here, happy ending. So things are going to be very, very beautiful. High priestess vibes right here. So you are that divine feminine that is very psychic, very intuitive. You know to trust your intuition and your inner gumption because you carry the secrets of ancient wisdom. You, uh, you are the keeper, excuse me, of ancient wisdom and knowledge. So you have, you know, a, a divine connection with spirit. That's why I feel like that spiritual career card showed up because this is your assignment. It's like you're showing up. You knew the assignment almost. It's like, you know, that saying that, buddy, you know what I'm saying? It's like you knew the assignment and with your, your karmic that you were in a relationship with. That's why you didn't stoop to their level. That's why you didn't turn into that vindictive person because you knew that you were doing spiritual work. You knew that there was something bigger than just you and that person, that, that, that you was here to help heal the collective, that you were there to, to transmute the negativity. So that you could break the chains, the yokes, the curses, the hexes that were placed not only upon you, but on your bloodline, on your family, on the feminine or the masculine energy within your family. And so you was doing a job bigger than just yourself. It wasn't just about your bruised ego, your hurt feelings. It was about healing your whole, the healing the whole, healing, you know, even in freeing your children from potentially going through those same things, those same experiences. This is powerful, Scorpio. I'm getting a lot from this. But you got bright future, infinite supply, and that's Mama Lakshmi. So there's going to be a happy ending. So definitely um, you got to know this, feel this, claim this. You know, you can't say, I hope so. Don't be hoping so. No so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with hope, but you, you have to you have to have faith. You got to trust. You got to know. There's a knowingness. I don't hope for nothing. I I know so. You know what I'm saying? I don't say I hope you feel better. I say I will. I will you too, because it's it's it's, it's a matter of intention you got to put in it. So with this unconditional love, that's what you're healing from. And I feel like you showed yourself compassion in this process. You know, instead of judging yourself, like I said, I feel like you instead um, knew there was work to do. You got busy. You did your work. And you did so unapologetically. You did so without, you know, complaining. You just did what you knew was necessary for you to do. And right now we have Maxwell. This is called gest gestation. And it says ever wanting to want you see that so like I was saying earlier somebody definitely has um, you know some sort of admiration some sort of love some sort of affinity some sort of attraction 
and they're longing because this says ever wanting to want you and with unconditional love this is someone you already know this could be someone as i said because that's 66 this is definitely twin fly um twin flame energy because the doubles um double numbers always make me feel like you and another person are mirroring this is just the way i interpret it the way i intuitively pick up the message so you and someone else is healing um, from some sort of discourse, disconnect. I feel like you're not communicating. Somebody had another person involved in this connection may not have communicated that to you because this is all blue. So someone was deceptive. Someone was dishonest. Someone was not expressing how they truly feel. Someone was trying to run from the connection. So they could have just kind of, you know, just latched onto a karmic, um, so that they could just kind of, you know, um, try to ignore you know, they were trying to force themselves to, to forget you, to uh, ignore these emotions, these feelings they knew they had for you. And they're coming to the conclusion, four, 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 four. So this is definitely like somebody that is, um, sees you as wish fulfillment. Um, and I definitely feel this person is getting downloads. But with that three, they want to reunite because they're ever wanting to want you. So they've never forgotten you. You're their number one. That's the epiphany that they have had, especially with the six that deals with the first eye chakra. So and now they know, now they're using discernment, now they're using their intuition. Divine is dropping bombs on them, <laughs> dropping downloads, they're hearing music, they're hearing. And I feel like you've just been patiently doing your work, healing thyself, loving thyself, practicing healthy self-care, because that was the major lesson you learned from your karmic connection was to love thyself. And I feel like that's why there's going to be some sort of... Um, opening or some sort of reunion so let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beloved beloved scorpios divine spirit let's see what we got for my beloved scorpios as i said some of you all definitely are into music some of you all are definitely um songwriters producers you know you may play instruments bass banjo violin harp some of you could be playing you know the guitar some of you could play um the drums i see somebody like like in their basement like just knocking them drums you know into oblivion like i just see you know that there's just intention that someone is putting and it makes them feel you know you know feel good it's like their safe space their sanctuary you got wish fulfillment here look at this you got a miracle the divine is telling you expect a miracle and with this song, Ever Wanting to Want You, I feel like this is someone returning, expressing that they love you, looking to heal this connection. There's going to be communication about how somebody feels, just as I was saying. This is all blue card. Blue deals with the throat chakra. So they're going to express this to you. The blue doesn't only, you know, speak to somebody expressing to you verbally. They may use some sort of creative way to tell you how they feel. You know, somebody could just send you like... Um, you know, some sort of like um, I'm seeing like, you know how people send um, those. Um, what do you call those people when they come knock on your door and then it's like they sing songs. It's like a message like they're going to use some creative way to get the point across that they care about you, that they love you. They're going to do something very um, I'm hearing extreme, but I feel like it's just very unique, you know, very thoughtful. You know, it's a unique way to share. It's like a, a, a singer gram a telegram or something like that, but it's like somebody's just gonna knock on the door, they're gonna be wearing some sort of like costume, and it's just like they're gonna be singing, such and such loves you, so you know what I'm talking about, like, <laughs> I just see that in my mind's eye. So I don't know if somebody already did that, but expect a miracle, because there's something beautiful unfolding. And as I told you, when you have a karmic completion and completion here, this is definitely like, the divine is opening things up for you. All the delays, the blockages, all of that is being moved out of the way. You're, all obstacles are being removed. And now this wish fulfillment and blessings can come in. So divine spirit of love and light, divine spirit of love and light was coming in. Okay, let's go ahead, shuffle this, cut the deck. My spirit healing is here. Look at that. You did your work. What did I just say? You got blessings coming in. The divine is saying infinite supply. This is what you're getting, an infinite supply, beloveds. That's why. And this is actually goes here because remember, this was your bonus. And so this bonus goes here, as does infinite supply. These are basically the same messages. So that's why you have an inf um, a happy ending because there's literally, and this wish fulfillment is still here. Expect a miracle is still here. 
So you have abundance. There's like financial freedom. The divine is saying things are, because both of these cards are yellow. So I feel you're going to be extremely happy with whatever comes in. And I feel like everything is going to be supplied for you. Everything that you can imagine, everything that you could think of. It says you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And I feel like not only is it going to be like emotional um, supply, but there's going to be also like a, a financial supply. Like you're, gonna, you're not going to have to worry about anything. And this is all purple. So I feel like intuitively, you know this. I feel like many of you've manifested this because we saw that manifestation card. And I do feel like you all are very psychic and you know how to um, assert yourselves. You know how to utilize your power. You know how to channel energy. You know how to transmute energy. You know how to to um, be that conduit, if you will, of change to change your circumstance, your relationship, um, you know, or, or your your circumstance and your dynamic. It's like you know how to to work with energy. You know how to set intention. And right now we have. Um, we have ooh child things are going to get easier. This is beautiful. See that? And we got bright future. Stop worrying. Infinite supply. You are supplied for all of your today. This is like things are going to get easier. So if you've been struggling I know a lot of y'all have been communicating in the comment section how things have been hard, how you're facing certain um, legal systems. It's like you got to trust in your power and your ability and in your ancestors and your beautiful spirit team because they're bringing things to you. You are absolutely here to change the, 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 the um, vibration of the collective. It's like you have been assigned a role and the divine is going to give you the ability to, um, you know, to uh, assert yourselves, to to act out whatever it is that you are designed to do. So it's like you just got to trust this process. You have to have a sense of knowingness. Like I said, you can't hope for the best. You got to know it's already going to be all right. It's all it's you got to know it's already all right, basically. And this is, you know, they're saying, ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things are get brighter. What gets brighter than this? Bright future? Like, you got a bright future, infinite supply. You got to know that. You already did the work. This, it, it, for you all who've done the work, you already know that. For you all who have yet to do the work, those are the ones that could potentially be doubting that could be doubtful, like, oh, I don't know, because you don't feel like you've been doing the work or you know that you haven't been really applying yourselves. And it's all you got to do is apply yourself. You know, you take one step towards the most high, the most high will take two towards you. And that's just how it works. So you have to, you know, you have to be patient with the process and with yourselves. But you also have to, you know, like I said, patience is a form of action. It ain't just waiting for the divine to just plop some shit in your lap and say, oh, you, you know, I prayed for such and such and such. So when is it coming? You still have to apply yourself. You still have to be assertive. You still have to go after what it is you want. Also, you got to show the divine that you're going to meet the, you know, you, that you're setting the intention, you know, as the divine is going to match your energy. You know, that's literally what it is. But you have miracles coming in for those of you who know you've been doing your work. Things are going to get brighter. Things are going to get easier. And we see that with the healing card. So it's not as, you know, your, your things don't feel as, as, as gloomy, as dark, as heavy as they may have felt in the past. You don't feel out of equilibrium. You don't feel confused and foggy mentally because I feel like a lot of you have really just, you know, worked very um, diligently, you know, on healing thyself. Right now. I love that part. It always, I just love that. And he's like, things are going to get easier right now. So it's like right now, it's already all right. So stop worrying because there's miracles being blessed upon you. Mother Mary is definitely assuring that. So divine spirit of love and light. Thank you. So two messages flew down here. So look at that. See this beautiful energy? A star of fertility came right back out. This is what you did. You healed thyself and now you have ascended to this beautiful divine feminine energy, whether you're masculine or not. You know, this is what it is. It's saying and you got little mole and this is called forever. So you have definitely healed yourselves forever. Like I was saying, you've healed not only and broken, you know, yokes 
from yourself, but you've ultimately, you've broken the generational curses, yokes, hexes off of your family bloodline because you are the divine feminine. As I said, you carry all of the, you know, attributes, characteristics. And so you are natural born healers, you're shamans, you're light workers, you're very much, you know, those caretakers. You could be, you know, um, you know, very much in that alchemist energy. You create potions and elixirs. You're magis, you're witches. You, you definitely tap into the energy and you know how to heal thyself. And you all have ancient wisdom in this regard. So you're like getting downloads and you just naturally know how to do stuff because you're receiving the download. You know what I'm saying? There's times when I get messages from spirit, if I'm having some sort of you know, ache or pain or ailment, the divine will just give me a download and tell me do, you know, concoct something and it works like magic because it is. You become the alchemist when you start concocting things and putting things together to, to um, you know, to, to heal thyself. So I feel like a lot of you've discovered that you're healers. A lot of you discovered that you have superpowers is what I'm hearing. And with forever, you've healed your, your family tree. You've healed your bloodline forever. You know, so there's not going to be um, another opportunity for anyone to like entrap or to, to block blessings or to curse the family. Because I feel like you all are that divine feminine and you're very sensitive. You're very psychically sensitive. So you can, you can feel energy very easily because this is a purple card, you know. So this, this divine feminine is very psychic. She carries ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. She's also very powerful. And we see here with this healing, you definitely, you know, that's your main focus is to heal those around you, to love those around you, to be nurturing, to be the caretaker. That's just your role. And we see here compassion. And so this compassion card, this is what the divine was telling you. Be more compassionate towards yourselves. Five, 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 five. I feel like, you know, that's the end, you know, of some sort of tough cycle, 10, 10. So the divine was telling you, don't judge yourselves. This is when you know that, you know, hurt people hurt people. So it's like you took a step back, you know, even in those moments of pain and agony, you were still very careless, um, care. Um, you were still very, um, how do I say? It was like you were still very um, selfless you know, still very caring, still very attentive, you know, even to the people who could have hurt you. Like if they would have called you, you know, right after, you know, discovering something damaging and they said, hey, you know, such and such happened. Say, for instance, you know, God forbid, you know, they got into some sort of like small accident and they called you just to inform you, you know, you would have been right there at their side regardless. You would have put everything to the side because it's like, you know how to disassociate, you know, the personal from like human. You know, you, you know, for personal hurt feelings from being like a human, you know, because a lot of people allow their hurt feelings to turn them into demonic energies. But you're the opposite. You know, you still stay grounded. You know, you still know not to allow certain situations to influence you, you know, in a negative way. And that compassion is why I feel like you've leveled up because it's like you had a lot of divine um, downloads that, you know, you, you are here to help heal the collective. So you can't be functioning and acting uh, from that low vibration and doing what, you know, mere mortals do when you are a healer. So I feel like that compassion is what sets, you know, makes you different from the rest because a lot of people act out of emotion to the point where they, their intentions are to hurt or are to, to uh, cause pain to another person. Whereas I feel like you all transformed and ascended into your power to the point where you knew that, you know, not to take what someone else does personally, you know? And that's why you were able to complete a cycle because it's almost like you completed a cycle, um, you know, in terms of like psychically, like how you were looking at things, like your perspective, your perception, you know, maybe even your belief system, ideology. It's like, that's, you know, the divine told you not to be so judgmental, you know? And so you leveled up psychically. You know, you trusted your intuition. Even Kuan Yin, you know, is here and eyes are closed. So this is like grounding oneself, centering oneself, being in that Zen mode and being in a space of forgiveness always. Like, you know, forgive those for they know not what they do. You know, forgiveness is always for you anyway. And I feel like when you can forgive other people, 
you, your energy is just lighter because it, it just shows like, you know, it, it shows a sense of selflessness, you know, and that's what the divine loves. And when you do that, you, you can focus more on love. You can focus more on providing light, you know. And so I see here um, divine um, passion is here. So there is someone that has a lot of passion, like I was saying in the beginning. And their passion for you is intensifying. It's erupting. You can see this volcano is erupting at this point. You know, like I was saying earlier also, I felt like somebody was having like intimate thoughts. So somebody could literally be like, you know, pleasing themselves at night and erupting with thoughts of you. You know, because that orange and this orange, you know, this orange inside and this is all orange. So this speaks to like passion, lust, desire, fire and desire rather. And they see you as wish fulfillment, but they're not communicating to you, you know. And so we have You Must Learn by KRS, by Boogie Down Productions. So this person had to learn what they're, um, you know, how to treat you. And, and, and I feel like they had to learn how to treat you um, once you learned what your love language was, once you learned what your worth was, once you started to enforce and, and, and practice self-love, self-care, now you could teach others how to treat you because this says you must learn. So first you had to learn, you know, how to have a healthy, um, love, you know, a healthy relationship with yourself. You know, how to not self-sabotage, how to not, not overcompensate or overextend yourself. You had to learn your worth and value ultimately. And so now that you know your worth and value, how you treat yourself is how you're going to teach others to treat you. So with this love partnership, this person now is learning from you learning from how you're treating yourself. They're learning how they have to come in um, to court you because they do have a lot of passion and they're going to be honest with you because I feel like I said they've been hiding those feelings, those emotions, but in their true, you know, in their heart, this is what they truly feel. This is what they've always felt, you know, this is what they've always felt. And maybe there was a sense of, you know, denial in the past, you know, so Divine Spirit of Love and Light, why is love partnership here for our beloved Scorpios? Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. So you had to learn. That's what life is about, is learning these lessons. You know, you got to learn. See that? Don't back down. Somebody's trying to muster up the strength, courage to be assertive, come in, tell you how they feel, and past life. Didn't I say there was a past life love connection or someone that you have... You know, a connection with that feels like, you know, it's very familiar. But this is a path to life connection, this love connection. That's why I was picking up like runner chaser. There's always that, you know, dynamic between, you know, a twin flame soulmate, yin yang kind of com combination. You know, there's always going to be, you know, this runner. Somebody's more um, aware and awakened than the other. So they feel like they're chasing someone. And if you're chasing someone, they're going to run. So you learn not to trace, to chase, but to attract. And so that's why this person is now coming to um, realize, you know, or coming to um, to own their feelings. And so we have Sadat X and this is called God is back. So th this person is coming back with God. I feel like this, you know, if you're a goddess, ladies, you are the goddess. You know, the divine feminine is the empress, the goddess. So that means your God, your, your goddess, your God is your, your, your the suit to the goddess. So the God, your God is back. Gods and goddesses. So this is that y'all are a spiritual uh, power couple. I feel like this person is just as um, spiritual, just as eccentric, just as, um, you know, involved in spirituality, just as psychic. And that's why I was picking up like they communicate telepathically. I feel like the both of you do look at this headdress. So it's like imagine the download she's getting with that antenna. That's like a, a direct antenna, you know, where she's getting powerful downloads and it's coming straight from her divine masculine, her divine um, counterpart, you know. And with God is back, I feel like this person is going to return to you. I feel like somebody also uh, could have been dealing with, like I said, um, a lot of succubus, incubus energy in the past. And so they were overtaken by some sort of energy vampirism. But now God has, uh, you know, kind of... Um, healed them from that, freed them from that, um, released them from that curse, that yoke, that hex, because you got karmic completion and completion. So it's like with God is back, somebody returned back to, um, back to who they are, to their authentic self. 
because maybe they were, um, you know, under some sort of illusion or under some sort of delusion. It would be a mind fuck, gaslighted, deceived, betrayed, and, you know, psychologically manipulated. And I feel like they had to, you know, they had to stand up. They had to stand up for what they believed in because maybe they realized somebody was definitely, um, was not um, who they paraded around to be. They discovered someone was wearing a mask. Someone was being uh, very deceptive, as I said earlier. Fugazi, because remember we had thief's theme, so somebody was trying to steal from another person. Maybe this is something you all experienced. And with God is back, maybe somebody returned back to their spirituality. Maybe they returned back um, and, and they were um, saved, you know, from some sort of demonic entity. Delivered, I'm hearing the word delivered from some sort of demonic entity, some, more, some sort of demonic hold. And I keep hearing incubus, succubus, parasites, leeches. So this could have been their friends. This could have been not even friends, but frenemies. This could have been snakes and fakes and phonies and fugazis, people that they, you know, surrounded themselves around. They learned that these individuals were definitely, um, they were, you know, preying on their downfall. And so they're standing up against these individuals. So why is karmic completion here, divine spirit? Okay. Don't back down, came back out. So, yeah, somebody is definitely, you know, they, they stood up for what they, belie they believed in. And with receptivity, didn't I say be receptive? You got to be receptive. Got to be open to receive. There's a lot of abundance here for you. And you also have to be, you know, because when you're receptive, you also pick up those downloads. When you're too, um, when you're closed minded, you know, and when you're busy, like trying to, um, trying to control the narrative or the timeline, and you're not like, you know, you're not surrendering to the divine, then, you know, you, that means you're not listening and trusting your intuition. There's a block. So it's like you have to be receptive because there's very important ma messages coming down. I feel like there's a lot of messages coming to you, maybe via your dreams, maybe just during nature walks, maybe when you're sitting in silence, maybe when you're in the shower, you may find yourselves having a lot of like ideas just start hitting you, you know. I want to get one more message for karmic completion, divine spirit of love and light. But I feel like somebody definitely took their power back and now is owning their power. Could have cut someone off a karmic, you know, could have uh, cut the soul tie, like I said, broke the yoke. Wow. I also feel like there's communication. See that? Go outside. Some of you all need to go outside. Some of you need to get some fresh air because at the end of the day, when you're just stuck in the house, your home can become like an, a prison, you know? So you need to go outside. I don't care if it's 10 degrees outside, get some fresh air, even if you walk, you know, just stand out on your patio or sit out on your patio for a little minute, you know? But f breathe some fresh air. Sit amongst the trees, the plants, the flowers, whatever, you know? Be somewhere where you could center yourself, ground yourself, and, you know, unplug. Get You got to unplug, you know, from the matrix. It's very important because when you're constantly plugged in, you lose sight of who you are. When you're plugged into a virtual reality 24 hours a day, you lose sight of the actual reality that you are supposed to be focusing more time and energy into because this is the reality you actually live in. But when you're spending more time in the virtual reality than this actual reality, then you're literally, um, you're going to be out of balance, out of sync. And so I feel like there's a lot of messages that will come to you. You know, a lot of messages that will come. And I feel like it will allow you to uh, just kind of feel the energy around you. You'll be able to, to pick up on, you know, how things feel. You'll be more sensitive. So let's see what we have. We have the arts. And this says, express yourself through creative activities. So a lot of you, as I said, you're musicians, you're artists, and you're already doing that, you know. And we have uh, the Terror Squad, and this is called Pass Away. So somebody could have passed away, some loved ones, you know, could have transitioned into the spirit realm. And I feel like that was a very painful loss. A lot of you have still, you know, not fully mourned, you know. But I feel like for many of you, you kind of like... Um, 
you know, you kind of transmuted a lot of that pain through something creative that you do. And I feel like whatever it is that you do, it is um, very healing to the collective. It does bring joy and peace and, and um, it, it, it lightens other people's energy and moods. So that's beautiful. See, Mother Earth, you are healers. You're, you're also seen as very down to earth, very talented. Some of you are uh, clairvoyants as well, clairaudient as well, excuse me. But you're also very grounded. You're natural born healers, shamans, light workers. And I feel like you just ground the energy, you ground, you know, that's why people like to be around. You may find that people flock to you. People, you know, may, may uh, be drawn to you. And it's because you're natural empaths. So you have a natural, you know, empathic, loving, compassionate energy and vibration, very caring, you know. And in these days and times where you just got people who care less to have that type of energy is like a rare find. So others see you to be like that, you know, they could see you to be like an earth angel. And with this inner goddess, this is very much like that same energy as the divine feminine, Aphrodite, inner goddess. Remember, I used the word goddess, you know, because God is back, was playing by Sadat X. So this inner goddess. So I do feel like this is what you've tapped into. You started to move to the beat of your own drum. You started to practice self-care. You started to learn your worth and value you started to you know be stronger stand on your strength and i feel like there's someone from your past because there's this bird trying to hand her these reeds and reeds represent like victory success so somebody could be coming in you know to communicate this dove definitely speaks to something um you know like a rebirth so maybe somebody's coming back to reunite to reconcile and with these stars all around her, I see four stars. So I do feel like, remember the miracles, expect a miracle. So this could be like a wish fulfillment. And the stars started off like really dim. Then it got brighter, it got brighter, closer, closer. And then it's like here. So it's like, I feel like, you know, this wish fulfillment is, is, is here. By the time you turn around, it's like you're, you're going to be walking into some sort of new circumstance situation. But that's like a wish fulfillment. That's like a blessing. You know, that's like something that you've prayed for, that you've asked for. So let's get some messages. We're going to post some messages from my, my deck. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. It says, you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So we see with the completion twice on the deck, you got completion, then karmic completion. So this is why you're being congratulated. This is why you have bright future, infinite supply, and a happy ending. Because you have evolved into that divine feminine. You got the divine feminine twice. So there's a lot of dual energy. So I feel like you and your, other, your, your significant other, you and the person the divine is um, aligning you with are matching one another's energy because you got completion and karmic completion on the table as well. That's also dual energy. And right now we have Janet Jackson, Funny How Times Flies. And it's uh, Funny How Times Fly. Uh, funny How Times, why am I saying that? Funny how time flies. And she says, funny how time flies when you're having fun. And the name of this album is Control. So somebody was trying to control their feelings, trying to restrict them, repress them, suppress them, block them, deny them. And so now, funny how time flies when you're having fun. So time has flown. You know, this person is ready to come toward you. And with past life, you know, somebody was having a lot of fun. Maybe somebody was, you know, very impulsive, very immature, like I said, noncommittal. And now they're like looking to return, looking to reconcile, feeling drawn and, 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 and attracted to not only this connection, but to, you know, build, rebuilding, you know, to having a future, you know, because they feel like you're like home. Like I said, it's like they're returning home. And it says you've experienced many life changes. So I do feel like there's wish fulfillment. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. I feel like there's definitely a lot of downloads. Remember, you had synchronicities right underneath here. So many of you could be seeing a lot of um, number synchronicities. You know, maybe you're hearing certain songs. You could be clairaudient. Maybe you're having certain dreams. You need to jot those down in your journal. 
and then revisit those journal entries, you know, if in, in, in whatever it is that you're, you know, scribing in your journals, search it, research it. If you're seeing certain animal totems in your dreams, butterflies, if you're seeing bees or whatever it is you're seeing in your, in your dreams, it's like research the information. Even if you're constantly seeing certain um, angel numbers, research the meanings. You know, we all have the ability to do our due diligence to gain a better understanding of what our spirit team, our angels and ancestors are communicating to us. And that's why the divine is telling you it's imperative to go outside. It's imperative because what it will do is it will make you more sensitive, you know, and it'll make you more sensitive to, you know, your cycles and rhythms of your own body. You'll be able to just, you know, naturally feel, you know, you'll just be able to pick up on the feeling. You'll know what's going on. And that's when you're connected. So there's like, you know, pay attention because the Most High is trying to tell you something. I feel like this is also saying like there's like wish fulfillments that are coming in, the, bless the blessings, you know, those answered prayers, those miracles. Somebody realizes that sh there's no one else out there like you. Nobody else out there can match your vibration, your, your frequency. Nobody out there can love them the way you do. And they feel, you know, they feel special in your presence, as I said. So there's like this warmth. There's this, this energy of attentiveness and love and nurturing and caring. And listen what's playing. And we have the spinners working my way back to you, babe. So that's what this person is doing. They're working their way back to you. So this person is working their way back to you because they don't went out there and tried to find you and other people. And there's absolutely nobody out there that matches your vibration because you are the earth angel. You are very loving. And this is what somebody has come to the grand epiphany, you know, this is why they're trying to come back because it's like, you know, they're disappointed. Remember, number one, you know, was playing by Gregory Isaacs in the beginning. So they, you, you know, you're their number one. They realize like, you know, whoever they could have put before you, you know, they realize that that person was not exactly who they were pretending to be. They were superficial, they was fake, they was materialistic, you know, they was a false person. They just, you know, maybe they knew what, what this, this person was interested in and so they kind of, you know, pretended to be that for as long as they could until they couldn't pretend anymore and then the mask started to lift. But this person wants to come to you, it says, I'll be working my way back to you, babe. And but they fear rejection. So they're fearing rejection because they know the way that they left. And, you know, to begin with was, you know, it was really cruel. It was hard. And it says always be building. So this is what they see, you know, so whatever tower that was destroyed, you've been rebuilding. This is what you, this is your sentiment. After something's destroyed, always be building. So not only have you been building up your self-confidence and healing from past pains, wounds, traumas, not only have you been building up your, you know, your financial um, situation or circumstance, um, but you've also been like building up your, your self-confidence, your love, your self sense of self. Um, you've been building your wealth of knowledge in certain areas so that you can be, you know, that entrepreneur, so that you can be that force to be reckoned with. And this is what's attracting, you know, you to everyone, everything, you know, that you desire. This is what they're attracted to. This is why they feel um, this connection because it's like they've literally watched you transform. It's like they've watched you, you know, blossom. You've gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis and this just attracts them to you. This is this energy right here. You know, they see you as beautiful, you sexy, you know, like I said, alluring. And it's like they've been bitten by the smitten bug. Like they literally are just like, they can't stop thinking about you, I feel, as well. And it's because like whatever was destroyed, you rebuilt and you're stronger now. They see you know, just how strong you are. They see your worth and they didn't see it before. And this is what you said. Enough of no love. I know my worth now. Bye. And that's what you did. You threw up them deuces and you said, I'm focusing on me. And so you could have ghosted this person or you could have, you know, completely cut them off. And this, see that? Look at that. Cut the karmic lessons cords, uh, cut the karmic cords lessons already learned. So that's what you did. I feel like this person definitely took you for granted in the past. And, you know, they, they thought you was naive. They thought you was foolish. They thought you was, you know, gullible. You know, they thought they could just talk 
holes in your ear and you was just going to keep on going along and get along. Um, but what ultimately happened is when you started to see uh, what this person's true intentions was and how they truly felt about you, um, that's what completely shifted your energy, you know, um, because Scorpios are very loyal, very loving um, and faithful. But when you see that somebody's trying to insult your intelligence or taking your kindness for weakness, or if you discover that somebody has been deceiving you, oh, you that love can turn to um, it's a thin line between love and hate. Let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? And so right now we got um, Bobby Brown. This is called Rock With You. And so it says take your power back now. And this is clarifying happy ending, bright future, infinite supply. That's why you're being rewarded with the bright future and infinite supply and this happiness. And this person wants to rock with you. There's somebody that wants to rock with you. They feel like you are their rock, like you will be solid, like this connection will be solid. I'm hearing, um, what is the name of that group? Um, solid as a rock. Ashford and Simpson, that's what I'm hearing. So they feel like you're solid. They feel like you're stand up, like you mean what you say. They feel like you haven't, you know, um, you know, you're very in, you, you integral, like you, you are, um, you do things the right way. You're righteous. You know, you're very mindful of what you do. They see that you're also like you mean business, you know, and they also see that you don't play uh, about your energy right now. And this is what they are drawn to. They, they, they like this new improved version of you. It's like they're intimidated a little also because they know in a lot of ways, you know, they, they're not sure what they're coming back to, but they, they want it. You know, they like it. They, they're drawn to it. You know that? See that? Fugazi. So there was definitely a lot of fakeness, a lot of jealousy. There could have been a lot of child's play, immaturity. You know, maybe somebody was definitely, um, you know, healing from, you know, somebody that was just, you know, straight up, a de de you know, deceptive. Somebody who was a master manipulator, a gaslighter, you know, somebody who could have been even narcissistic. Somebody who threw you off balance, you know, they was out of balance themselves and they threw you off kilt, you know what I'm saying? But it's like now you're, you're back on point. Somebody wants to rock with you now that you got yourself together. But the divine is saying this is somebody fugazi. So you can't trust them because remember you had a thief's theme playing by Nas. So somebody could be still trying to come back and emotionally manipulate you. Why is healing and fertility here for Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? Thank you, spirit. That flew out. And it says whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. See that? That's what you've healed from. You've been healing from something that literally it, 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 um, it was like that, that sword, that lat, that tenth sword in the back. You know, but you have healed thyself. You focused on thyself. And what it did was, you know, it just it let you know not only who you were dealing with, but it also led to you uh, regenerating yourself, going through that startling metamorphosis, transforming your energy and also trusting, you know, your intuition and using discernment more. You know, not just going by what people were saying. Somebody could have been telling you, I want to rock with you. I'm rocking with you. I'm here for you. Just the words, just semantics. But at the end of the day, their actions were saying otherwise. And so I feel like, you know, that that hurt you. You know, I feel like it hurt you to the core. But what it did was, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I feel like you've you've ascended into your divine, you know, masculine, divine, feminine energy. And you've learned to, you know, transmute that energy. You realize you were the conduit of change. So you change your vibration. You change your focus of attention on healing thyself, on, you know, sharpening your skills, your talents, your gifts, honing them, mastering your craft. But this is definitely ascension. This is growth. This is leveling up. And I feel like, you know, this that death definitely led to a rebirth. And so, you know, you're stronger now, wiser. This is a very um, powerful energy because it's, it's like you, you are more assertive. And so it says here, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. And we're about to clarify completion and compassion. And so this is what you had to do. You had to cut yourself free from people who were detached from their emotions. People who were not, didn't know how to emote. That is Scorpio's love language is emotion, communication, um, assent, uh, assertive, not assertiveness. Well, that too, but attentive, you know, being attentive, you know, being compassionate, being caring. And you was dealing with somebody who was completely detached. So that means they were cold. They were inconsiderate. They were not thoughtful, you know, 
It was probably that type of person where anniversaries would come around and they would treat it like it was another day. Not even considering the fact that your feminine energy and, you know, feminine energy is very emotional. So they take things like anniversaries and certain dates, you know, more seriously. And this person was just cold and stern and, you know, detached and, you know, you know, not not very um, not very uh, thoughtful in that regard. So they lacked compassion and they judged you for how you felt. And we got Jay-Z playing Love for Free, Free featuring Rel. So this person was just trying to take your love for free, which means for granted. So that's again, you know, non-reciprocation. Wanting to get love from you, but not feeling the need or the, you know, yeah, not feeling the need to reciprocate the love because they want to just get your love for free without ever having to do anything to, you know, obtain it. And so I feel like with you, excuse me, what you did was you completely detached because you don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. You was very, con you know, you was very, um, I feel like you was very, um, like I said, you know, very just in the way that you did it, very righteous. You know, you, you, you could have handled this like, you know, very um, maturely. You know what I'm saying? You're very mature in the way that you dealt with the situation. And that's another reason why you leveled up, because I feel like you, you, you just trusted your intuition. You trusted what you were feeling. You used discernment. You knew something else was going on. Somebody could have been giving their love away for free to somebody else. And you were sitting around waiting to receive love because this person definitely was detached. So that means they was breadcrumbing you kind of flighty in and out. You know, immature, unreliable, just doing the least but the most for somebody else who was more than likely a fugazi. So let's see, why is completion, compassion here? Wow. And then we have choose wisely. Somebody made a wrong choice. They went with what appeared to be beautiful, immaculate, lush, what appeared to be flourishing, and it was fake as hell. It was plastic. They, and that flew out. Look at that. I was about to put the deck down, that flew out. So this is your messages. Have happy house and happy spouse. And then we have choose wisely, everything that glitters in gold. And see that love for free. See that, and, and what he just said is, there's too many dimes for me to choose. Too many dimes for me to choose. All right, it's early in the AM, so I can't hit them notes. I can't do my Mariah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so this is what happened. This is what led to a completion. Somebody definitely chose some other option. So as I was picking up, somebody, you know, um, was um, abandoned, you know, in a relationship. So this was, you know, this was an otherwise pretty happy house. So you thought and somebody chose someone else, went to, you know, went towards another option. And so this is what led to some sort of completion. Because this is what, when you had to, you know, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Somebody thought going after another option was going to lead them to this happy house, happy spouse. But what it led to was some sort of karmic completion. And I feel like this person is seeking compassion. The divine is telling you don't judge this person because maybe this was a part of their karmic lesson. Maybe they were having to learn lessons in, in, in regards to um going you know making head over heart decisions opposed to just going with you know how things look um physically or going with eternal um external beauty or attraction you know physical attraction it's like you got to go with the heart so somebody has learned that something was not what it was because it says choose wisely everything that glitters is in gold so somebody had to learn the hard way that someone was fake that's why fugazi showed up Something was artificial, plastic, materialistic. Somebody was wearing a mask and the mask started to lift the longer they was with that person. They started to see that they were being deceived. And so it says you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So this is absolutely your epiphany. This is what you started to realize about yourself. Like I said, you started to change your love language. You discovered your love language. Like, damn, I'm pretty fly. I'm pretty dope. I bring a lot to the table. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you feminine energies, you know how to cook. You know how to go ad, out there and get that bag. You take care of your children. You know what I'm saying? You know how to, you, you like co-creators with source. Like you, you, you get busy. So you're not just no one trick pony. You ain't just sitting somewhere cute looking like some man's trophy. 
and vice versa, men. You're not just a fella that could go out there and, and, and go, you know, get that, that, that paper. You know how to cook your own meals. You don't need no woman to come in there and cook for you. It'd be nice. But you know how to go in there and chef it up. You know how to keep a nice home. You don't have no nasty house. So it's like, it's like you're, you're starting to realize, you know, you deserve more. You know, you were settling before. So you learned your love language. You learned that, you know, you're the one that's going to teach people how to treat you. So when you have a better relationship with the self, other people can see that because that's the energy you'll be radiating. If you just going around, just self-sabotaging, giving to everybody, then they're going to come around. They're going to take. They're going to keep on taking. They're going to suck you dry and leave you with absolutely nothing. And that's what you all had to learn was not to, you know, allow people to demand your time and your energy. And so we have Maxwell. This is called Embrya. And so, yeah, you had to get back to the root cause. You had to take it back to the root of the issue. And as I said, the root cause is always where it began, obviously. And where it began was probably in a form of life. These were lessons you had to learn, you know, about loving thyself, putting thyself first and not, you know, um, self-sabotaging, not overcompensating, not, you know, self-sacrificing and not even, you know, um, you know, just um, being too giving, you know, because there is a such thing, you know. So with this energy, when you know that you're a miracle, you're going to be more mindful, you know, of who you align yourself with. But I also feel like, you know, there is a twin flame. You know, this is your divine counterpart. This is leading to a very beautiful, magical love connection because it says love partnership, past life. This situation involves your past life memories. So someone is remembering you, remembering love, you know, like I said, you feel like home to this person and vice versa. Someone is very attracted to you, drawn to you. Why is um, love partnership past life here? Hold on one moment. All right. So why is love partnership past life here for Scorpio's divine spirit of love and life? And so now we got Alicia Keys. I keep on falling. What is this called? Fallen. So somebody's falling for you. Like I said, they've fallen for you. And they've fallen for you in separation. So they're definitely watching. They're tuning into your channel. Whatever you're doing, whether you got social media, maybe you got a YouTube account, this person knows about it, and they are tuning in. And it says, you are unlike anyone I've ever dealt with, met, or dealt with. So you're definitely unique. Like I said, you're rare. You're a rare gem, rare breed. They done tried to find somebody like you, and it just it ain't hitting the same. You know what I'm saying? The loving ain't hitting the same. You know what I'm saying? The conversations ain't stimulating the same way it was with you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's a difference. It's different. And, and they're learning, like, you know, even if it's like about attraction, it's like, even if this is a masculine who, who's very, um, you know, focused on, you know, physical beauty, it's like this is a masculine that has ascended and matured into looking at the other attributes and characteristics that the feminine energy has to offer opposed to just a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit don't that don't that, that don't matter. It's cute, but it's like that ain't enough to, to, to spark the interest of the divine masculine because he's matured in a sense to know like there has to be, you know, other things that that feminine energy has to contribute or to bring to the table. Because a fat ass is cute for a minute, but then it's just like it gets played out. You know what I'm saying? So what we have here, look at this. The ancestors are pleased. They approve. So the ancestors, like I said, this love connection, the divine is behind the scenes. You know, this is like in the incubation status. They're conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into union with your divine counterpart. This is past life love, twin flame, soulmate, yang to your yin, yin to your yang. This is a spiritual union, a spiritual counterpart or a, a divine counterpart that is coming in. And with falling, they're going to be falling in love. You're going to fall in love with this person. And I don't even like fall in love. My new thing is rise in love. Because when you fall in love, I feel like you, that's like descending. You don't want to descend. You want to ascend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm trying, you know me, I like to change the frequency and vibrations of words, you know, um, or change the way that I communicate to change the frequency and vibration of the word. So you're going to be rising in love, even though Alicia Keys is saying fallen. So this person, I feel, has fallen for you because literally they thought that they was the shit. They was very airy in their head, egotistical, almost conceited. I'm hearing they were conceited. 
know what I'm saying? They thought that their shit didn't stink. And now that's why they was sitting here like, damn, you know, they're fearing rejection because they could have been real like cocky, you know, could have been cocky or this could have been a feminine energy that thought they was the shit. And, um, you know, now they realizing like, damn, that Scorpio, man, you know, it was just something about that Scorpio. You know, he did everything right. He may not have buku dollars like all these cornballs I've been dealing with, but he had character. He had heart. He was considerate. He was honest. He was faithful. You know what I'm saying? That's that's those are the things that, you know, these people are starting to have. These are the grand epiphanies. But the divine is is, is definitely going to be pleased with this union. Like that's why I was picking up that this is like a spiritual um, power couple, because I feel that not only are you. You know, in high rank spiritual spiritually, I feel like they are as well. I feel like you both had to learn your left lessons separate of one another, which is why there was like that. That's why there's this dynamic of running and chasing, because, you know, both of y'all are kind of trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But it was important for y'all to do your healing. It was important for y'all to heal. And that's why with the six, six, I feel like both of you were healing. Both of you were going through some sort of, you know, um, healing process. You know, and it says you are unlike. So they see you as, you know, unique, special, rare. You're like a rare find, rare gem. And so we got black moon. And this is called I got you open. So with that moon, they definitely are. They were hiding their feelings because the moon is, you know, the moon is um, very symbolic of not only intuition, but it's also, you know, symbolic of emotions. You know, and it reflects, you know, the water. So all of those are connected, you know, emotions, water, feelings, um, intuition. And so with this karmic completion, I feel like, you know, with this don't back down, somebody's ego, you know, somebody was, you know, kind of like trying to control the, the, the narrative by not expressing something, by running from it. But I feel like the more they ran from it, it was just like, you know, it's almost like running from your shadow. You can't. You're never going to get away. It's going to be right there until you turn around, face it and confront it. And so that's why the divine is saying, like, look, don't back down. You know, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe in. If you love that person, go after them. You know, if you have something to say, say it, you know. But, um, you know, even if it's like, you know, not backing down from ending some sort of karmic relationship, this is what they're being told to do with the moon. It's like this is what they're getting. The downloads they're receiving from spirit. You know, maybe the dreams they're having is just everything is, is, is um, you know, um, you know, it's a sign to just to, to complete this cycle, to end it. Uh, but I also feel like, you know, got you open. This person now, what did I say? Like they, their nose is wide open in the beginning. Like you got them open. Like they, they feel in you. They, they realize how much, you know, they, they're, um, it's like they smitten by the, you know, they, they bitten by the smitten bug for real. And so it's because like they realize you're not like anybody else, like you different, you know, you move different, you act different, you are different, you look different, you do you different. You don't try to do what everybody else does. You're like very, you know, you're an individual. So you don't have, you know, you don't function in group think. So you are very unique, you know, in, in a lot of ways, maybe the way you dress, maybe the way you um the way you move, the way you may have your home decorated. It's just like there's just something different about you, something unique, something rare. And that's what they love. They love that, you know. So let's see. It's, oh, wow. I stopped shuffling and look. So this person definitely is is coming to give this to you because it's like you got them wide open. I, you know, I don't know what y'all did, but somebody is super open like they are open and look what's underneath that love jones so this could be somebody as i said that you you know because these are all the old flicks you know that um love movies that i love these are like some of my favorites so we got um love jones love and basketball affinity and more you know so these are something you know maybe these are movies that you could have watched with this person back in the day um but this is just speaking of nostalgia you know just thinking of those moments when y'all used to just kick back and just put a flick on and laugh and talk and, you know, sippy sip and, you know, blow one out in the air. Like, it was just like, you know, just good vibes, you know. And so that's what this person is like. You know, maybe this is what they're kind of reflecting back to, you know. This is what love feels like. This is like home to them. So let's see. Why is um, karmic completion, don't back down, Sarasvati, Mawu, Mother Earth, and Aphrodite here? Because they do see you as the divine feminine. See that lion ass. The truth ain't in you. So I feel with that karmic completion, this is wrapping it up with somebody that was deceptive. 
and not backing down from doing so because they know that's the best thing to do for their peace of mind. Toxic behavior. They got to cut some shit off that was toxic. This is what? Somebody was dealing with a, a pathological liar is what I'm hearing. And so we have um, the spinners, and this is called It's a Shame. So it was a shame, you know, some of the things somebody was doing in their relationship. Somebody also feels shame because they could have left you, like I said, for someone who they discovered was a liar, was, you know, cheating, deceptive. Somebody that hurt them because it says it's a, he's saying. He's saying it's a shame the way you're messing around with my heart. It's a shame the way you hurt me. So, yeah. So with this karmic completion, somebody feels shame for playing with your feelings, for hurting you, because they definitely was like exhibiting some toxic behavior. So we already know what toxic behavior is. That's like being a master manipulator, gaslighting. Lying, cheating, thieving. Remember you had um, Nas playing thief's theme. So somebody was definitely like trying to set somebody up, trying to line somebody up, as we say. You know, trying to line them up just to, 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 to gaffle them, to steal from them. You know, and so that's what led to some sort of karmic completion. That's what led to someone, you know, discovering, you know, that what they, you know, aligned themselves with was not the best option. Because remember, you had choose wisely. Everything that glitters isn't gold. So somebody played with someone's heart and they had to learn the hard way. They thought they was going to have this happy house, happy spouse, but it led to some sort of ending. And the divine is saying show compassion uh, because maybe this person has learned uh, from their actions, learned from their behavior. Or learned from their mistakes, rather. Let me get one more message. Wise completion. Don't back down. Sarasvati, Mother Earth. Aphrodite and lion ass the truth ain't in it. You get one more message here, divine spirit. It's coming completion. Don't back down. Satisfaction. Thank you, spirit. It was all growing pains. Thank you, spirit. So like I said, this is what you had to go through. And that's why that card said, um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger because it's all growing pains. You have to grow through this. You didn't go through this, you had to grow through this. And this is what was meant for you to go through. You had to learn how to use your intuition and to pay attention to the red flags, how to assert yourself, how to uh, stand up for what you believed in, you know, how to stand in your power. You had to learn how to teach people how to treat you, you know, teach people that you're not no damn, you know, no damn um, step stone. No footstool, as they say in the Bible, in the basic instructions before leaving earth. And now someone's realizing about you that no one in this world sees me the way you do. I feel special in your presence, which is pretty much what showed up already during the pre-shuffle. So this person's now having this epiphany. Like I said, they're feeling that shame. Their head is spinning. They're in their head a lot. And it's because they're riddled with regret. They're riddled with agonizing regret and remorse. So let's get some additional messages from Grimoire and then we're going to wrap it up. So right now we have Deep Inside Mary J. Blige playing. So someone's doing a whole lot of reflection. They're doing a whole lot of deep dives, soul searching because we got Deep Inside. So Deep Inside somebody definitely feels affinity, uh, attraction. They feel this chemistry, like I said, you know, and we have the sun card here. So this is you breaking free. This is them also. Somebody breaking free. Look at all these ghosts and goblins trying to keep this person trapped in this cave. You know, and this cave is, is just like, you know, this is a place of entrapment. This is also a place of, like I said, um, where your energy could be leached, where you could be, you know, it's like energy vampirism. But somebody has some sort of epiphany. Somebody has some sort of uh, aha moment. And they free themselves. They're going towards the light. So they saw something clear. They discovered the lies. They discovered that people were wearing masks. So they thought these individuals were friends and they could have finally saw them. They opened up their first eye and saw that these were demons, demonic entities. They could have got the download because you are the divine feminine. So I do feel like as you, you know, go through your awakening, you help to trigger and activate your person. Because you're now amplified, your spiritual gifts and your psychic abilities are amplified. So it's like you can send transmissions to your divine per person 
just like here, like I said, this is your antenna, this headdress. So it's like you're sending transmissions to your divine counterpart with this love partnership. So this is you sending those prayers, petitions, and the divine is, you know, aligning you with that of what you desire because we see the ancestors approve. And so with this eight of wands, this is really, you know, somebody desiring to come towards you, but there is energies that's trying to entrap them. Maybe somebody discovered, you know, that someone was doing something foo-foo. They had some sort of epiphany. They want to communicate, you know. They want to come towards you and communicate and say how they feel, you know. But they were having some, some somebody was definitely like, I feel, just kind of manipulating their energy. There was some sort of uh, illusion that they were trapped in. And with this nine of chalices, this is self-love makes you, the, you know, Self-love is the best love, but self-love, you know, is what you're focusing on, self-love, self-care. You know, you could be also um, receiving a lot of wish fulfillment. I feel like with this man with the mouth and then you see uh, water coming out of it, I feel like somebody is going to come in and express how they feel because they see that your wish fulfillment. And that's, um, you know, right now, like I said, deep inside, somebody's going to express to you how they feel deep inside. They're going to express their feelings because they've been hiding these feelings, you know. And that's probably why there's a happy ending. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at this, three of swords. Three of swords. See that energy? Look at her body language. She's being pretty much um, attacked. You know, this is demonic attacks, psychic attacks. And look at her body language, though. This is like blocker, blocker, blocker. Body language she'd unlearned. But she got her book open. So she could have been reading her basic instructions before leaving Earth. This is also like heartbreak. This is the three of swords. But you're in this energy where you're blocking out what no longer serves you. And so this is a very powerful disposition to be in because these people are trying to like attack, trying to mind fuck, trying to gaslight, trying to convince you that, you know, you're powerless, but you aren't falling for the okie doke. Look at her body. Like she was like, yeah, whatever. I mm -hmm, word. Yeah, all right, I hear you. And it's because you took your power back. So what they were able to do in the past, you know, maybe, you know, they were saying evil things, gossiping, and you used to fall for the okie doke, fall for like, you know, when somebody said something, you would get all emotional or defensive. And it's like now you're not even, you're not giving them anything. You're not, you're not entertaining it because you're way beyond that. It's like you are beyond the bullshit. You are protective of yourself, your body language. So you're not giving them anything. You're not giving them your energy or your time or your attention because you learn that where your attention goes, energy flows. So that's why you're being rewarded. That's why there's, this, there's a happy ending because you're not allowing, you know, the mind to play tricks on you, the mind fuckery to distract you. And so the divine is like, do not worry, infinite supply. You're focusing on, you know, what's ahead. You're looking upward and onward. You're pushing towards your dreams, your goals, and this is what's going to lead to your success, ultimately, your happiness. We have on the bottom of the deck the Four of Wands. You have a beautiful divine masculine, divine feminine coming in. You also have a stability. You have security. This is you establishing that solid foundation. Remember, we had always be building. So you've absolutely rebuilt, and now you have a very strong and solid foundation. This shit is never going to crumble again, not on your watch, not on your time, because you've already learned from the lessons. Lessons already learned. Cut the karmic cord. So you've cut all the karmic shit out of your life. All of the people, the places, the things, the ideologies, the behaviors, the habits, all the shit that was not serving your greatest good. You got rid of all of that shit so you could have stability so that you could be in a, a um you know, in a sound position, in a, a solid position. And right now we have suspended in time by group home. So, yeah, a lot of that shit had you stuck and stagnant. Just suspended in time is when you just stuck. No movement. So you knew that you had to change your, your perspective. Somebody was causing instability by their actions, by their selfishness. And that's why you had to heal from that. And that's why this whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger because you had to learn that, you know, again, like, you know, you teach people how to treat you. So if you let somebody treat you like some second option, you know what I'm saying? And then they they then that's what you're going to be. So you got to know your own worth. And that's what I feel like you started to do. You started to realize, like, I'm the alchemist. 
I'm the divine feminine. I'm the divine masculine. I'm the magi. I create the potions and elixirs to life. I create my reality. I'm not letting, I'm not submitting my will to no fucking body. And so that's why you transformed into that fertility card, started to birth new ideas, started to focus and hone in on your skills and talents. This is a card of self mastery. It doesn't get any higher than that card, you know, in terms of, you know, the divine feminine's uh, power, you know, or even the divine masculine, because you could be a divine masculine owning that energy, you know, which makes you more balanced as well. So why is healing and fertility and whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is healing, fertility, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? And so we have this uh, two of wands. So this is absolutely somebody who was stuck at a fork in the road trying to choose between you and another person trying to breadcrumb. That's why it was like you was feeling like they wasn't giving you enough time and energy. This is, like I said, that choosing choice. You know, they was choosy lovers. You know, this is that choosy lover. You know what I'm saying? This is that energy. Somebody who is just like they thought they had options. This is that person that's just super cocky. Think you just going to sit around waiting for them. Fertility, the divine feminine don't wait for shit. You, you can't get your sh act right together. She's going, she going to choose for you. She going to bounce. And that's why you had that, like, <laughs> cut the karmic cords, lesson already learned. So this is, you know, literally like somebody sitting here trying to decide, you know, having these deep discussions with the self. This could be them having a conversation with themselves and the higher self. But this is also someone finally making a decision. You know, this could be you even saying, yeah, it's time for me to, you know, to bounce from this situation. It's time for me to cut this shit off. Because at the end of the day, this is like you're weighing all of the, you know, you're weighing all of the odds. You know, you, 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 you like having deep conversations with the higher self, you know, and, and you get that epiphany eventually. Like, OK, well, if it doesn't feel right in my spirit, then I guess I got to cut this shit off. And when you do, this is when you grow, you know, you start the healing process. But that that blue card definitely is telling me that there was some deep, some deep conversations. You know, you realizing that you have to um, you have to express yourself. You know, maybe that's what led to you going into like, you know, focusing more on like your creative or artistic skills and talents. You know, choosing the self, you know, making a choice for you to do what's best for you. And there goes the magician. See that? This magician, this is that manipulator. That master manipulator. This is somebody who could have been like literally like stalking. Look at his eyes. It's like he's watching. He's studying. And with choose, the, um, choose wisely, everything that glitters is in gold. Somebody could now be trying to figure out how to come back. Because remember we had the card Fugazi. And remember you got lion ass, the true fame in you. And it was all growing pains. And you also had cut the karmic cord lesson already learned. So somebody could still be at it trying to figure out how to get you back, trying to figure out how to, you know, clap back, you know, how to get revenge because you done moved on. And not only did you move on, you moved up, you leveled up, you're glowing and growing and shit. So somebody's sitting here trying to master manipulate, trying to master some fucking, some, some ill plot scheme because you had the thief's theme playing earlier by Nas. So I just feel like somebody's trying to figure out how to steal some shit. Like I said, whether it's your energy, your money, but they just trying to steal something, you know, trying to steal some shit that ain't theirs. And so we have um, Slow Kisses playing by Joe. So maybe somebody's going to try to come back and be like an emotional manipulator. You know, maybe try to, you know, get you, convince you to, you know, go somewhere with them. And maybe they're going to try to. Make you remember some some better times, bringing up old memories. Because, you know, during Mercury retrograde, you get a lot of people coming back from the past. You know, so they might send you a little message, a little email, a little text saying some cute shit. But it's going to have you trapped in an illusion because that's this person's main intention. You know, the magician gets what they want. Maybe this is just you manifesting what you desire. Somebody compassionate, thoughtful, attentive, affectionate. Somebody who's also gone through a lot of life lessons and that's experience and that has emotional um, intelligence. So you don't have to go through constant games and playing, you know, playing with grown ass people like you could be sitting here setting the intention and, and, and scribing your petitions and what you desire into your manifestation journals as well. Because we had that manifestation card. So why is completion, compassion, choose wisely, happy house here for our beloved Scorpios? 
Why is complete? Thank you, spirit. And so we have the wheel. See that? This was destined. Whatever you've been through, this was destined. This was preordained. This was a part of your life journey. Your soul's mission was to learn these valuable lessons. Even your person. I feel like everything is coming full circle. There's a, a turning point in this. So something beautiful is going to um, transpire. I also feel like there was definite, like, um, if you look here, somebody is, like, looking and spying on this, like, seance, this ritual you know, this group of people, you know, a bunch of people gathered. And remember, with Choose Wisely, somebody may have discovered, somebody could have been doing some sort of spell work on them, love spells, some sort of separation spells. Somebody's, like, discovering that because he's, like, watching these people from the bushes. So they don't even know he's there. So with Choose Wisely, you know, everything that glitters is in gold, somebody is discovering something about someone that they don't even like. And with slow kisses, maybe, like I said, that's how somebody got caught up in the rapture because of some sort of incubus, succubus energy latched onto them, leached onto them. And with compassion and completion, they're wrapping this up because they followed their intuition, which led them to discover some shit. It's like they bumped into some information, you know what I'm saying, that they weren't privy to prior to this. And so this person here is like looking in on these people, have a full on ritual seance, you know, and he's like. What the fuck is going on? And there's several people here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight people of significance. And this is the wheel. So I feel like whoever these people are that's doing that, it's like, like I said, this download, somebody was led to discover some sort of information. Something could have came out, a tr you know, some sort of um, whatever was hidden has come out. And I feel like instead of somebody like latching out, on someone lashing out on someone, I feel like they should just, you know, they dealt with it with peace, love, and light. They didn't even stoop down to that level. They didn't get into that, that low vibration, you know. And because it, at the end of the day, they know that was their fault. Their, that was on them because they didn't choose wisely because they didn't take enough time to evaluate the situation or assess the person, you know, to see if this person was who they said they were. But with this wheel, there's a turning point. Things are going to change. I feel like there's a destined event. This was destined to happen because somebody had to learn this lesson the hard way. And so I see um, we got um, Sanibo Bay and it's called Hard Time. So this person was meant to go through this hard time. You know, this was a part of their destiny. This was a part of just like you had to learn your life lessons. Just like you had to learn your karmic lessons. This person had to learn theirs. So this was a part of their, um, their, um, you know, their karma was to, you know, get through these hard times. So based off of the decisions they made, based off the fact they didn't listen to their intuition, this is what brought them to, um, you know, to, uh, accepting their power their their intuitive gifts because the number nine completion is full um purple and purple deals with the uh crown chakra so i feel like somebody didn't listen to their intuition obviously because you have choose wisely so they didn't choose wisely they didn't use discernment they thought that whatever choice they could have just gone by like i said the external appearance or maybe something superficial like someone's status someone's job position or what they have maybe what type of car they drive what type of neighborhood they live in type of money they make and they didn't go with the heart you know so they didn't make decisions based off of of um actual factuals they be, made decisions based off of things you know things materials you know artificial and that's why there's a turning point that's why you know with this this energy that means like something is changing you know, this was a karmic situation, a karmic lesson. And so we have here six of chalices, someone sitting here reminiscing. I reminisce on the love we had past life, love partnership. So now somebody's sitting here daydreaming, think about they Scorpio. Like, damn, shit wasn't that fucked up when I was with Scorpio. We used to have actually have some good time, you know. So they going through the hard times right now, you know, reflecting back on the good times they had with you, you know. And this is what, you know, their ancestors, this is what your ancestors, like I said, is aligning the two of you up. You both had to learn separate of one another, you know, your own value and, you know, how to tap into your power, how to step into your power, how to own your power. So someone's sitting here, you know, like I said, reminiscing, you know, 
and, and, and daydreaming, thinking about this connection, thinking about this relationship, longing for you, yearning for you, you know, desiring you. So why is um, love partnership past life? The ancestors approve, they plead. Okay. Oh, snap. That's crazy. That's crazy. The six of cups came right back out. This is a past life love, a twin flame soulmate. This is a divine counterpart, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. This is someone that you are meant to be in union with. And this is why the ancestors approve, because this is what they are doing behind the scenes. Y'all don't know this. And it says hard time. So both of you have gone through hard times in your former relationships. And now you're coming into alignment with one another because this person matches your vibration and energy, your fly. This person speaks your love language as do you theirs. So this is a beautiful love connection and a spiritual union. And with the ace of pentacles, this could lead to marriage. This could lead to living together. This could lead to building a legacy, building a nucleus, building a family, planting seeds, having babies, building a business. Like I said, I feel like y'all have some sort of like um, an innate spiritual gift. Like it's something you were born with, something you're meant to do. This person is just as esoteric, just as spiritual as you. And this is why they're, you know, kind of coming out of this phase because I feel like you you were sending them psychic um, messages, intuitive messages, telepathic messages, and I feel like they're receiving them. And so they're just sitting here daydreaming, trying to perhaps plot in a plan or, you know, they could be watching you. I feel like this person could be watching you as well. But with the six of chalices, this is someone that loves you. And with this ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, they could be literally be coming in with marriage on the brain. Like I said, I was hearing that solid as a rock. And that's somebody that will invest. They want to less. They want to invest. This is somebody that, you know, is interested in longevity, you know, in, interested in family, interested in, you know, they're willing to to not only collaborate, but to compromise in the relationship. They're willing to be like your rock. They're willing to be your partner and not treat you like, you know, you wanted the children. They're going to sit there and they're going to have dialogue conversations with you to make the decisions together for the family, for the household for the finances. So this is someone also very well off, but this could be also a blessing, some sort of wish fulfillment coming in. It's something tangible. And so we have Notorious B.I.G. in Sadat X, and this is called Come On. So this person is coming. And I feel like you want them to come because you like, you, you is being patient enough. So you like, come on. When is this coming? Like this person is also, you know, waiting for a sign too. like, come on. Like, wh what do I do? You know, and the, the the ancestors is telling them, like, look, take action. Like, this is what you want. You know, this is a new opportunity. You know, this is something that is absolutely, undubitably the real thing. Like, this is the real thing. This ain't nothing for play play. This is beautiful, Scorpio. So why is the uh, karmic completion? Don't back down. Sarasvati, Mawu, Mother Earth, Aphrodite, Lion, Ass, the truth ain't in you. And it was all growing pains here for Scorpios. Uh, spirit of love and light. Why is thank you so much. All right, so it flew down here. See that? The five of wands. Somebody got gaffled. Somebody got left out in the cold. Somebody got played for boo boo the fool. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. They discovered that shit was artificial, plastic as hell. They see that they were under some sort of illusion, some sort of trap, because they're looking, you know, from this, uh, you know, it's like they escaped into this tunnel and they're seeing, you see how this entity is like, you know, forcing these people to move. It's like they got some sort of control over these people. This person could have been like, you know, suffering from addictions. Maybe they was drinking a lot, smoking a lot. They had some sort of addiction, some sort of attachments, you know what I'm saying? Some sort of afflictions that was kind of like blurring their vision, blurring their ability to see clearly. And so now that they, you know, kicked the habit, stopped drinking, now they could see what they was partnered up with, what they were attached to. And so now somebody feels left out in the cold, but this like they, they are, um, you know, now they're struggling. It's almost like they're struggling financially because somebody could have just been stealing from them. Because remember, um, thief's theme. And look at this. This person's regretting because now they're looking back in awareness like, damn, my Scorpio's always been loving, caring. They never did me this dirty. They never stole from me. They was always kind, always attentive, always affectionate, always caring, always nurturing. Always there to listen to my bullshit. And so this is what this person is doing with the queen of chalices. 
This person realizes they love you. They realize they fucked up, realize they messed up a good thing. They see you as the divine feminine also. Let me get one more message and then we're going to wrap it up. Ace of Pentacles, baby. Somebody's coming back for you. The Ace of Pentacles, this person definitely means business. This is somebody that wants to offer you the world. They may come back, you know, and offer you, you know, like a, a ring, marriage. This is somebody that definitely sees your worth and value. Didn't before, they do now. And with the one and five, that's six of pentacles. So this is somebody that wants to come in. They want to provide stability, security. They could have breadcrumbed you along and now they see the error in their ways because they see that you've been able to acquire a lot on your own with or without them, what, with or without you, you know, bottom of the deck. Look at this. They're kicking themselves in the ass. Remember Shane was playing. It's a shame the way you're messing around with my heart. And this is what they're struggling with. This is what they're riddled with. Shame, regret, remorse. They're ruminating and pining over past decisions, what they did. And it's because they realized that they was under some sort of spell and illusion, you know. And now they're doing their, uh, you know, their um, root, you know, they're, they're working through their shadow side and they're starting to see what they did. And you cut that ass off. Look at that. You cut them off because you wasn't sitting there playing with their ass. You ain't had no time for that bullshit. You grown as fuck. You ain't got time for the games. And this is why they're riddled with regret, because now they know you mean what you... It's like you literally on your Wu-Tang shit, protect your neck, because you cutting heads. You cutting heads in 2022. You ain't got time to sit down and, and like I said, sit down and, and, and be arguing with a motherfucker. Hell to the nizzo. You like, motherfucker, you got to get out. <laughs> I'm a fool. Don't pay me no money. But this is your reading score, yo. I hope that the messages resonated. This was a good one. This was a deep dive because we two hours in. You know how I do. I love y'all that much. I'm going to give you a deep dive, baby, every time, every time. But I love y'all. I hope the messages resonated. If you're new, I hope you stay a while. If you're returning, you already know what it is. Beloved, it's love is love is love. Enjoy your day. Have a beautiful day. Until next time, Ashe. And I do want to encourage you all to please do the Archangel Michael prayer. Tomorrow is Tuesday. That is the day you should start. It's for nine consecutive weeks. You light your candle. You set your intention. You pray and ask for what you want and watch the miracles pour in. Um, it's a very beautiful um, prayer. You can check out the prayers um, that you can um, recite to Archangel Michael on the former reading. Um, but that was for some of you all. So I just wanted to, to leave that message. All right. I love y'all. Thank you. Until next time. Ashe. Peace.